All India Football Federation, it's looking to bring its two flagship football tournaments, the Indian Super League and the I League, together by 2018. But what is the reason behind the merger? FIFA does not approve the existence of two football leagues in a country's calendar and it still identifies I-League as the country's premier competition. If AIFF continued with the ISL, then India would have faced suspension from FIFA like Indonesia did and that has forced the AIFF to consider a merger of the two tournaments. In May 2016, AIFF President Praful Patel and the head of IMG Reliance's sports unit, Sundar Raman, gave the first draft of the structure of the new league. The top tier of Indian football will be named ISL due to its existing brand recognition and all the ISL teams will automatically be a part of it. The league will also get all the core features of the I-League, namely club licensing, top division status and the representation in AFC competitions. Two or three teams from the existing I-League could join the eight ISL teams in the restructured top tier. The rest of the I-League clubs will be forced to play in League 1, which is the current second division in Indian football. The forced relegation of existing I-League clubs was the major stumbling block and it was met with fierce resistance from I-League clubs like Mohan Bagan, East Bengal, Salgaukar FC and Dempo FC. Other I-League clubs like DSK Shivajians, Shillong Lajong FC and Bengaluru FC have openly welcomed the proposal. The merger will be smoother now that dissident clubs including Sporting Club de Goa, Salgaukar FC and Dempo FC have pulled out of the I-League. At this point, the main issue that needs to be resolved is the dispute over the city of Kolkata. According to the original ISL contract, there can only be one team from a city. Atletico de Kolkata want exclusivity over the city of Kolkata and they want Mohan Bagan and East Bengal to play elsewhere. As things stand, the merger is unlikely to happen in 2017, but it is not far away. Do give us your feedback about the proposed merger in the comments below.